Hello everyone and welcome to round one. It's cool that I get a camera. Right. Anyway, uh, we are on the play here and let's take a look at our opener. Hmm. It's not good. Um, I think we can keep it. Oh, it's mini gnarls. And I think we can keep it. It's not strong though. Uh, but we do have early pressure, and hopefully we'll you know not dry any more of our lands. But it, it it's it's hard to mulligan a hand like this. Uh, we'll be able to like turn one, uh, play soldier since we don't have any pump spells. We're just going to play the one that uh, has the highest upside of not being blocked on turn one, since those cards are like Judge's Familiar, Rakdos Cackler, things like that. <laughs> All right, so uh, Mini Gnarls Mini Gnarls is a pretty decent Magic Online player, and he is playing a Brew, so we're gonna be the bad guy and beat him down with our uh, Niagara deck. All right, well, Phil. All right, I. I've been playing a little bit of block lately. <laughs> Just so you know, I've been practicing for this thing called the Pro Tour that is happening today, actually. And I'm a little scared of a card called Anger of the Gods. I don't really know if it sees much play in standard right now. I don't want to get blown out by it. So we're just going to play one of these since we're so far ahead. could he potentially have? Um, <clears throat> well, I have no idea why I want to play it. Burning. He's burning my soldier. You know, you got it. Thinking about his land drop, or lack thereof. And we're thinking if we want to Selesnia charm him here. I don't think we do. But he also lost connection. Well, that's just a little awkward. Um, but uh, if he doesn't have a land drop, we could potentially play Selesnia charm. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, and then bash him down to uh, eight and play our fourth guy and hope he doesn't have anger of the gods. Uh, it's not a bad play. Depends on what else his deck is doing. Uh, since he just cast anger of the gods and or not anger of the gods. I'm still on anger of the gods. He cast turn and burn. Uh, gets RFG because of the dried militant and uh, so no snap case snapcaster mage shenanigans. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I think he'll probably just temple here. Probably. I mean, he didn't do anything last turn with his two mana. So, yeah, he's just going to be passing. I th think that the coast is clear. All right, well, we no longer care about Anger of the Gods. In fact, we hope he casts it. Well, he's a blue-red deck with burn spells. We don't really have much of a sideboard for him, except for uh, Fiendslayer Paladin seem pretty good against red removal spells. It just lets us, like, pump our guy into it. He might be three-color, so we might want our Boros Charms. And again, he does seem like he potentially could be a control deck, but like we said uh, during the deck tech, I don't think that Domri Raid is particularly, like, strong right now for what the metagame looks like and how aggressive it is. So I'm taking my shot and saying to just hope you beat him down. 
Um, but he, since he's burn orientated, I want these. Uh, so Gore Clans actually are not as important. And <clears throat> we don't want all of these. So I think we're going to trim out. Uh, let's just do this and just let's. We're going to cut. No, Gore Clan seems real bad against whatever he's playing. So we're going to cut down to one Fabled Hero just to see how good it is in this matchup. But we're going to go up to Fiend Slayers just to like, try to fight uh, the Red Burn. And he says it's a Brew, so it just might be Blue Red. Counter Burn? I don't know. That's what Brews do. It's, uh, that's, that's round one for you. But we're going to have to take a Mulligan because of no White. And we're going to keep this, but we have no Red. But White is our most essential color, so... Scry, we're going to keep Fiend Slayer, hope, hoping that it is good in this matchup. Oh, oh no. Oh no, no, no. No, no, no. Is he just... Oh no, is he mono blue splash red? No, he's just playing these as like dorks. Gonna get in some damage, pass it back to us, alright. Well, we're gonna get in and play a Fiend Slayer Paladin. Hmm. I wish I could be more informative, but I have no idea what he's gonna do to us. That's a Chandra. The Chandra's gonna die. I'm not letting that Chandra live. Alright. Dude, we don't have a red source. Then we could actually use these Gore Clans. But instead, we'll just use Trusty Old Giant Growth. Uh, his correct block would be to just block the Fiend Slayer Paladin, therefore I wouldn't gain all the life. Like, if he ends up blocking voice, I'm just going to pump Fiend Slayer Paladin, and that just gives me a ton of life. Uh, free life, because I'm going to want this, this Chandra dead. But, uh, depending, um... We're not really going to do anything. We're not going to slam this Lesnia Charm because we're going to need that to pump through this next time. And we're going to want to hold up Brave because he definitely could be an Anger of the Gods deck like Chandra's, Frostburn Weirds. Uh, just because this says it can't be targeted doesn't mean that it can't die to Anger. It's a very unique um, protection that Fiend Slayer Paladin has just from being the target. All right, well, see, that's, that's just not where he wanted to be. Uh, I don't know how relevant it's going to be, but, I mean, we just got free life gain, so. Not another one. Yeah, that's right. Don't you play another one. Or Master Waves. That would also be really bad. So he's going to strike. I'm going to let that resolve. That just means he's going to want to do something on our turn. Ugh. I guess we can Selesnia Charm to kill his Frostborn Weird. And then Brave. So, I'm cool with them bouncing off each other. He's got to initiate. Could have just double pumped. But now we're just going to get to eat his Frostburn weird. Alright, 
another Chandra. We need a Mana Confluence so bad. So, so, so bad. Or another Boros Charm. Just strike me, I guess. He's just not going to. I guess he has a counter spell. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, he just has an is it charm in hand. That works pretty well with Chandra. Put on bottom at least. <laughs> Anger. <laughs> now he's gonna have to is it charm this and hopefully draw red to just kill the Chandra. And then we can just start playing Gore Clans. Or maybe he just has nothing. Awesome. Don't be a dragon. What? Okay. I mean, losing guys sucks, but it's better than a dragon. I guess if we just draw two running red sources, we just have them dead to rights. Soldier that could just needs to get one more point, and if we draw red, we've got burn. Not a dragon. Ah, there we go. All right. Crisis averted. Hopefully, hopefully that's not counter magic in his hand. I don't think it would be against Naya. Because it's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, he can only do 11 with Dragon and he has to monstrous it. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Yeah, I have to charm him first. Or that would be seven and five. He still has to deal four damage to us. I guess five damage to us. Never mind. Nope, we should be good. Um, can't think of two mana. Unless that gained life. Yeah, we're just going to show him. We had it. Oh! Giant growth just for the rubbins? Nope. Alright, well, that was kind of a goofy round one, but Mini Gnarls is a great uh, Magic Online player, and he's just trying to brew. Uh, but we'll see what happens next round.